Happy Thanksgiving! Today, the day I'm filming at least, is Thanksgiving. So today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, Thanksgiving, get ready with me. I want to do a really nice orangey um, like eyeshadow look because I feel like today is like the last day where I can really do that. Well, it's not like the last day, but you know what I mean? Then we're going into winter, Christmas full out, and that's usually when I like to wear more cool tones instead of all the warm tones. So I'm going to be doing that and just kind of like a neutral face. I'll talk you through it and I'll also show you my outfit. So let's do it. So first, I'm gonna take my Pixie by Petra powder foundation with my e.l.f. Uh, complexion brush. I'm just gonna pat that on my skin because it gives it like a nice like kind of full coverage effect. So you can't really see my scars anymore, which are perfect because just let me just tell you, if you're getting pimples, do not pop them. That's all I ask from you. It creates scars and sometimes even indents and you cannot cover indents. You can kind of cover scars up because if they're just red, you can't really tell, you know, you're just like covering it up with some color corrector or some concealer, but just do not pop your pimples. Okay. Okay. There's definitely a lot of white powder because this powder is a bit too light for me, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to grab another powder. Let me back. The powder that I have been using recently is a white powder. Like it's the lightest shade in the whole entire collection. And the one that is my shade, I literally shattered. So I'm going to be really, really careful. That looks pretty good at least. Oh, I just need to do something about these under eye circles because they a little dark. I'm going to take the one, the only Tarte Shape Tape. This stuff like is the only stuff that will really cover my dark circles. Like it is, it's magic sauce for under eye circles. Like if you have like kind of dark under eyes, this stuff will definitely help you out. 20 times better, am I right? I've been eating like this candy recently and um, I really shouldn't be because it's breaking me out. Like I have another pimple on my chin right here not happy but you know what it's okay-ish like you know it's okay there we go I kind of covered it right okay yeah uh no wait a little more I'm obsessed with like covering the full pimple I don't know why it's so weird <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with some cream blush and just press that on my cheeks dab it in kind of go in like a circular motion I like those rosy apple cheeks I think it's so cute and I put a little on my nose to make it look like I just got a little sunburn. Just a little bit. Not like sunburn, but suntanned. <laughs> Keep on checking on my hair because I just like literally took a shower and I'm like, oh my gosh, hopefully my hair dries in time. So I'm like scrunching it up, making sure it like doesn't look bad for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna go in with some highlight, illuminating cream to be exact. Dab it on my cheekbones just to give it a little more of a glow. Boom, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my chin, a little on the cupid's bow, a little on the nose, because why not? Then I just got my eyebrows threaded, so they're like almost perfect. Like this is as perfect as my eyebrows usually get. So I'm gonna put some clear brow gel in there. This is the 24 hour brow setter by um, Benefit. It is spectacular. It really does keep your brows in all day. Sometimes it definitely, like I get breakouts in my eyebrows, so it's probably not the healthiest thing. But hey, it really does lock in your eyebrows. I'm not kidding. I got drenched. I fell into a puddle. My eyebrows were still locked in. <laughs> so now I wanna go into eyeshadow. Uh, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> First, I'm gonna take this LA Girl little quad in the number 469. I take it on just like this fluffy brush, make sure it's kind of clean. Take this shade right here, just like a really nice natural brown. I feel like that's a nice beginning shade, a nice transition, if you will. Sometimes I put it. I just realized something. I just put clear brow gel in. And I put like my powder brush in it. Ew, that felt really awful. Um, but like if I put too much, sometimes I'll just like brush it with my powder brush. Whoa, that was weird. Um, anywho, definitely make sure you didn't put just clear brow gel in your eyes. But I'm just buffing this really everywhere. Perfect. So not done just yet. I know that's usually what I go for. Just very natural. But I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a. Oh, should I? Should I? Oh my gosh, I'm deciding. I feel like I want to, but like I don't at the same time. Like, I want myself to look just natural. But then again, it's Thanksgiving. I feel like I need to go a little bigger. Because I'm gonna take this orangey yellow right here and mix it with this shade. And take this all over my eye, kind of again. 
I really want to go overall just kind of orange nothing like too dramatic like I kind of just want one color like <laughs> with all the other colors you know what I mean mixing the perfect color whoa okay that's pretty crazy honestly it looks just like a sunset I'm gonna buff out these edges because I hate harsh edges with eyeshadow and then I'll carve out my brows because they're a little it's a little much up there but I was kind of going for this like a nice like orangey just like you know it's Thanksgiving you know, that's like what I'm going for. I feel like a Thanksgiving orange is like all I want. I don't know if I said, but I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I didn't even kind of tell by the packaging, but it is bomb. And then I'm gonna take just a dot, a dot of that. And then I'm gonna put that like right on the outer edge, but not making it seem like it's a different color. Just kind of transitioning it into a little more of a red. And when I put my glasses on, honestly, it's not very noticeable, which is kind of a bummer, but also it's kind of not like it's okay. like. It just makes everything look a little more neutral. <laughs> it's so funny, all of my dogs in the neighborhood are barking, including my own, and they're all like, I'm thankful for you, I'm thankful for you, ooh, ooh. oh no, it's like they're all barking, it's hilarious. Um, anywho, I guess they're thankful for each other as well. Okay, then I really wanna take uh, this brush right here, just like a little flat shader brush. I'm gonna take a bit of this red, orange color and mix it in with this color, but mainly this one, tap it off, Tap more, tap it off, you know, the process. And go right on my lower lash line. And kind of winging it, no, nah, I'm winging it out. And I will blend this, don't worry. I hate a harsh lower lash line. Unless you're going for like a rainbow on your lower lash line, then that works, but nothing more. Then I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of blend it a little. Honestly, your finger is a magical tool. <laughs> that face, oh my gosh, okay. Anywho, okay, I think I'm pretty much done, actually. I'm gonna clean off this brush a little. I'm gonna go into this cream shade right here, or these two. They're honestly like the exact same color. I'm not even kidding, uh, but like, you know, I'm gonna mix them both. It's like, yo, my brow is here. Look at it. Ooh, <laughs> I think it's actually a little different than what I usually do. Right, right, it's kind of like a sunset turkey. Um, but yeah, no turkeys killed in the process of making this actual look though, so that's good. Uh, um, but I'm now gonna put mascara on, which is always like the scariest step because I just applied my eyeshadow and I really like how it looks and then I'm gonna mess it up with my like uh, my mascara and I'm gonna blink and it's going to be scary. But let's hope that does not happen. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my eyelash curler. If you do not curl your lashes, girl, you need to get on the boat or get on the train. You know what I mean. I'm gonna take my, uh, okay, I know I'm not taking my Essence Lash Princess. Okay, so another one of my friends, Megan, she got me onto this so much now. Okay, so this is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. I didn't like when I initially tried it, but now I like it a lot more, like a lot. Yes, look at that. It's perf. Okay, wait, I really want to go in more, more, but like, you know, when you go in more and you're like, ah, oh, dang it, I wish I didn't. So I'm not going to do it this time. But like, look at my lashes. They look pretty good, you know? Then I'm going to be pretty normal for my lips. I'm just going to go in with a clear lip gloss. It's so satisfying putting on a good clear lip gloss. It's just like, look at that. Oh, boom. I love it. Okay, I got to roll because uh, it's 12.30 and we're supposed to leave in like half an hour. So I need to go get dressed, I'll show you, but I'm really enjoying the makeup. I feel like, I feel like I did a pretty good job. So just changed, my top is thrifted. I feel like this is like the most Thanksgiving top there can be, right? Uh, my pants are from Brandy Melville and my shoes are Vans. I feel like I'm pretty Thanksgiving. I feel Thanksgiving. And my eye makeup, I feel like it matches. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so thankful for each and every single one of you. Thank you and bye.